In the computer's world, we know that there are only two logics, zero and one, or high and low, or on and off, or power and no power. If we give an LED power, we would see its lights, and we would turn off when we remove the power. So how can we control its brightness? Pulse width modulation (PWM) is a technique that we use to control the LED brightness. What is PWM? When we alternate turn the power on and off and on and off, we are creating a square wave over here, as it shows. So the number of square waves that are created in one second is called frequency and has a unit of called hertz or hz. 100 hz means there are 100 waves in one second. Notice that the higher the frequency, the less time in a, si in a cycle. You can calculate the cycle by formula cycle time, which is 1 divided by frequency. The wavelength is a time between the starting point and the ending point, where the logic has changed to become 1 again. It is called a cycle, as it says down here. In one cycle, it has on time, or has power, and off time, which has no power. So here's on time, here's off time, here's on time, here's off, here's on, here's off. The percentage of on time in a wave is called duty. If we have equal on time and off time in a wave cycle, then we have 50% of the duty cycle as the picture shows here. If we were given this such the power to an LED with a low frequency, we would see a blinking LED. But at a high frequency, humans cannot detect the blinking of the light. So changing the duty cycle will affect the brightness of the LED. To set up PWM and microbit with make code, we need just two codes of blocks, analog write pin and analog set period block. The analog write pin block is to set up the duty cycle, and the number is 0 to 1023. The middle of the number is 511, which means 50% duty. You have to do a little math to convert the number to percentage. The analog set period block is telling the microbin how much time of a cycle in a microsecond unit. So this is a symbol of a microsecond. So in this example, I'm going to set up the length of the cycle to 1000 microseconds and then start up the duty to 50%. We're going to connection at pin zero, put some wires, then put in an LED, more wires, a resistor, and it's going to connect back to the ground pin. To do the code, go to make code and then click micro bit. And you'll see that it will have on start and forever for you. Go ahead and trash the forever because you won't be needing that. <clears throat> go to advanced and then click pins. Um, pins grab... Uh, analog write pin P0 to 1023 and analog set period pin P0 measured in uh, microseconds and put them in the on start. Set the first block to 511 and the second block which is measured in microseconds to 1000. So the reason why I did this is for the first block why it's 511 is because it's half of the range of PWM. The second reason why I chose 1000 for the second block is because 1000 microseconds equals 1 millisecond. So you're pretty much done but you can but you can improve it a bit more. So go to variables and make a variable called duty. In this case, I already have duty set up for me. Grab a set duty and set it to 511, just like the second book, just like the um, 
the analog right pin block and grab a duty like this and snap it in here so next we're going to make it so that way it will increase and decrease the brightness of the LED hmm, where is it? I'm gonna go grab a uh, on button button A and button B no, no. Button. and I am going to put in a change duty in the button A by minus I'd say 100 would be okay and then we need to update the pin zero the analog right pin block over here we need to update it duplicate that snap them into button b and change it so that way it's just 100 there you go and now we're going to give it a limit of how far it can go so I'm going to drag a if statement two of them because for one button a one button B and I will grab I'm going to grab a less than and a greater than So we're going to snap them into the if blocks. The greater than will be for A and less than will be for B. You'll see why in a moment. So drag in duty into the first section. And then we're going to make it so that way it's greater than 100. So that way that's the limit. We're going to drag in these two blocks that we put on earlier do that exact same thing except with the button B and over here change it to that way it's 923 snap these blocks back in and you're done and I'm going to show you how we do the electronics first you get your micro bit a LED, a resistor, and three alligator clips. So, first you're going to grab one of the three alligator clips. It's really tangled up. Okay. So, connect it onto the pin zero. Hmm. Attach it onto the zero. If okay, and get the LED. Find which side is longer. In this case, this side is longer. Connect it to the um, alligator clip that is on the pin zero. Then grab another alligator clip. So mine's gonna be green. Connect it on the short wire part. And then grab your resistor. Read your color code. Um, the lower the brighter. Don't make it too low. Don't make it like too low. Connect it. There you go. Grab your last alligator clip. Clip it onto the um, resistor and clip it onto the micro bit. Alright. And I'm going to go connect it to the ground pin. 
There we go. And now I'll plug it in to the to the cable. Okay. Huh. Okay. So now it's been lit up. Now you can just As I said, A would be dim and B would be bright. So here would be the brightest and here would be the dimmest. There's a bit of light coming out. 